up to Shook. It's always a pleasure to be on the show with Howard because you can say what you want to say, do what you want to do. That's what's up. We can kick off the news with some of his great Inquirer stuff. Always like the gossip game. Mike Walker, of course, brought to you by... <laughs> Microtouch, America's number one micro-grooming tool. Which I'm going to get. Because I have some nasty hairs i got to get rid of. I thought it was nasty. Hey, Mike. Yeah, hi, Howard. I, I think I have one of those. Is that that little sort of long thing has little uh, teeth coming out and you turn it on and cut your hair? The long thing with teeth coming out? <laughs> yes. That cuts your hair? That cuts your hair. It's I don't like know. A fountain pen. Yeah, it's kind of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, gro you groom down there? I actually groom, yes. I bet you got ear hair. You look like a well, guy no, with ear hair. No, no, no. It's not for that. It's the back of my hair, you know, on the neck, grows at about five times the rate of the front. Oh, so you clip it. Yeah, I clip it. Poor guys. Haircuts. Yeah. I got to sit there. I'm clipping no nasal hairs, like, daily. I'm trying to keep up with the hair. Trying to keep up with the hair. My bush is a mess. Really? I can't get those nasty little hairs. <laughs> I, think, uh, I don't want to... I don't know. It's, it's, see, I would tell you a funny story, but I think it's too graphic. I thought it was nasty. It just bleep me. Yeah, we'll never hear the story. So I might as well just skip the story and get home quicker. Sure. Well. Anyway, what's uh, what's uh, doing? Well, uh, what's doing? Uh, of four course, four stories. Is, uh, is four stories that I'm going to tell you. Three of them will be in my column in the National Enquirer next week. One of them, of course, I have concocted out of whole cloth. Good. Go ahead. I feel lucky. All right, here we go. In the walking tall department, people are looking up to Ryan Seacrest lately because he puts lifts in his shoes. The narcissistic American Idol host who claims in his official bio that he's five feet nine and a ha-ha half is notoriously sensitive about his height, so after watching video of female contestants towering over him, the wee lad ordered wardrobe, do something. They fitted him with lifts and higher heels that pumped him up two and a half inches, and now the cocky rooster's strutting tall in his new kicks, even wearing them off camera. Oh, what a girl. <laughs> Not you, Mike. Ryan Seacrest. I was wondering, Howard. <laughs> Number two. Kate Hudson's rocker hubby, Chris Robinson, was tipped by a pal that an internet porn site was featuring a fake nude photo of wifey, her head pasted onto the body of a rather voluptuous big-breasted babe. Chris downloaded it, showed it to petite Kate, who got such a kick out of it, she pasted it on her refrigerator before pals dropped by for a weekend barbecue party and told them with a straight face, it's inspiring me to eat healthy and get back to that great bod I had before the baby. Yeah, she's pretty fat. She hasn't lost that weight yet. Really? Yeah. She's enormous. Number three. Don't know if this sheds any light on her mystifying split from hubby John Stamos, but Rebecca Romaine Stamos was spotted dining with two femme friends at the Chateau Marmont Hotel and turned heads when she kissed her pretty 20-ish waitress. Smack on the lips three times, each time a little longer. It certainly wasn't in lieu of a tip. Ms. Romaine Stamos once admitted in the gay mag, the advocate, quote, in my early 20s, I wondered if I was interested in women, so I kind of, well, did my homework. What yeah. is this? Yeah. I know that. Study. Mm -hmm. I happen to know that for a fact. She's done some homework. Huh? <laughs> I see. Number four. Why can't we be friends? That's Bruce Willis's plea to the ex-hubby of his girlfriend, Brooke Burns, nip-tuck star Julian McMahon, who resents Bruce spending time with their three-year-old daughter. Bruce thinks because he's chummy with ex-Demi Moore and her pal, uh, Squeeze, uh, Ashton Kutcher, Julian should be palsy wowsy with him and Brooke. But insiders whisper Julian's jealous whenever Bruce spends time with the little girl. The diehard star tried clearing the air over a coffee clutch, but Julian listened to him stone-faced, then suddenly stormed out of the cafe. Yeah, that's always difficult. Yeah. All right, here's your four stories. Ryan Seacrest puts lifts in his shoes. Chris Robinson was looking Seacrest. at naked pictures of Kate Hudson. They liked them. They show them to friends. Rebecca Romaine Stamos did a lesbo kiss with the waitress. Bruce Willis uh, is trying to be pals with everyone, all the exes, even uh, his new girlfriend's husband. I think here, what's the fake story? I think Chris Robinson and Kate Hudson. I don't. I don't think he's going around. Yeah, they're not taking the naked. But those two would be all upset. They're fake pictures. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They're they're fake. They play. They put her bo her body. Pictures. Their fake you know, body they on that. her head. Yeah. You can find every celebrity out there, Robin. There is a very nice picture of you, of course. But actually, the girl has smaller breasts because I believe I believe Rebecca kissed the waitress. Uh huh. I believe uh, Bruce Willis is trying to be friends with that dude. Mm -hmm. 
And I believe Ryan Seacrest puts lifts in his shoes. Look, two and a half inches. Jesus Christ, that's like high heels. <laughs> I mean, that's got to hurt a dude's feet. Maybe that's the fake story. A drag queen. Two and a half friggin' inches. I mean, my God, you could break your ankles doing that. <laughs> Is there such a thing, Robin? Is a lift that's two and a half inches? I've never heard of such a thing. I mean, I'm going that's Ryan. A shoe. All right, I'm going with Ryan Seacrest. That's it. And plus, that's one of those things. Yeah, I'm I'm switching to Ryan Seacrest. Okay, Robin, what's your fake story? Uh, you had me changing my mind there with the Ryan Seacrest thing. Very uh -huh. hesitant, Robin, these days. But I'm going with my first choice, which was Rebecca Romaine Stamos. You don't think so? Uh, you know, this is hard. I do. <laughs> All right. I'm going with you and Ryan Seacrest. All right. You never go with me. All right, <laughs> I'm let's going go with to, you today. Let's go to Artie. In story number one, Mike refers to Ryan Seacrest as 5'9 and a ha-ha half. <laughs> <laughs> a wee lad and a cocky rooster. That's got to be the fake story. <laughs> Based on that alone Seacrest. and his interest in crowbarring in his jokes, <laughs> I'm going, I hate to throw the stench of failure on your picks, but I'm going with number one. <laughs> All right, Fred. <laughs> I'm going to have to be unanimous. Wow. Ooh. And I think Whoa. why, when I was watching American Idol the other night, I had the same thought. Ryan Seacrest is a dwarf. The female contestants were at least a half a foot taller than he was. So I think Mike's imagination was running wild. Is it a clean sweep, Mr. Gossip Mike Walker? Well, actually, yes, it is a clean sweep. I don't think this has ever happened in the many years that I've done this. Wow. But every single one of you is absolutely wrong. Ah! Oh! Oh! Damn it! Oh! Oh! Ow. 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 Hey, this is kind of like ow, that ow. game is Ryan Lyon. Well, what is the uh, fake story? Oh, oh. The fake story is the one you picked originally. So always go your first Kate pick. Hudson. Oh. Yeah. yeah, those two would be so in. And... I feel like an idiot and a ha-ha-half. Oh. Ha, ha, yeah, ex <laughs> Shouldn't have switched my hey, vote, Hey, what is it? What is there, a comedian's union? No one can do no, a joke? It, what I, is this? I admire ha, ha, it. Ha-ha, half. <laughs> I admire All right, you got <laughs> us. To play the gossip game with Mike Walker online, go to nationalenquirer.com and listen to Mike Walker and his show Sunday afternoons from 1 to 3 on KLSX 97.1 FM in Los Angeles. Mike, thanks. Thank you, guys. That's the great Mike Walker, everybody. Yes. Wow, he got us all. Wow. See, I was right, and then I was wrong. <laughs> Interesting. Never switch. They even even on the SAT, go with your first answer. Wait a minute, which was the one again? And Kate Hudson. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. See, they all sounded fake to me. Yeah, so, this was a bad week. They except for Rebecca. That, that, that like. Lead pipe cinch. We're, yeah. we're all running around like cocky roosters. There was no roosters. reason for them not to be true. Seacrest. Out? Seacrest. Out. All right. Take a break. We'll do the news, or can I start the news now? Uh, Break. Be back right after this. What does the Howard Stern Show mean to you? Hi, this is Robin Quivers, and what the Howard Stern Show means to me is thumbing your nose at convention and getting to keep my big house. The Howard Stern Show. It means so much to so many.